Hello YouTube! Hello and welcome to my office. It's a pretty small office, but it's my office and apart from the fact that it's a mess, it's very inconvenient, it's not the best and it needs a little bit of a redesign. This video is me going to be redesigning my office, which is going to include constructing the table because I like the table, but personally it's too high and the table legs are too long. I want to put a little bit of a workbench possibly at the back, have a little section for me, change it about and have a bit more space. I like this layout. The desk looks out and it's good to see everything but quite frankly it's not that convenient. This evening I'm going to be just moving things about to seeing how everything is looking before I'll be making any purchases and redesigning it. So we're going to just have a look and see what it looks like if we move this desk against the wall there. Just see what it looks like. <laughs> Apart from it's still like, still needs cleaning out on this side. I don't know, well, what if I suddenly just decided I wanted a four here? What about a three? I bought this IKEA Calyx. It was second hand on Facebook Marketplace and it's not in the best condition. It's covered in scratches, the dowels, a lot of them are snapped. And quite frankly, it's not exactly what I want. So the idea for this video is, is I'm gonna be taking it all apart. It, because it's really wobbly. I'm going to be replacing all the dowels, I'm going to be sanding it down, repainting it, I'm even thinking about chopping this section of wood out so I can have a middle flat section. I've got some wood filler to fill up the holes, you know, just stuff like that. I tried fixing it yesterday and it stained a bit with glue. Turns out super glue actually melts the paint and I've still got the marks in my hand. So that's not the best. I'm going to be using this calyx as part of a wall to separate my office from the hallway because my office is in a hallway. So I want to do it up a bit, make it a bit more me, maybe down the line I might even stick some LEDs on it, but I want it to fit my record player and things like that on it. So we need to make it more my style. Let's start taking it apart because it's second hand and broken before we start putting it all back together. As you can see here, a lot of the dowel pins have been broken, so that's a little bit annoying, but I've bought some more. But the ones I bought just happened to be too big and too short, but that's okay because we're going to be working around it. I bought them purposely that size because it's really hard to find the correct ones, and I wanted to get this done sooner rather than later, so let's get this on the road. So I'm going to build this up part by part and I've already filled up some holes on some bits which I may have accidentally made or uh, marks which have already come on the product. Anyways, I bought these dowels. Now they are too thick and they're too short. As you can see here, there's a hole for part of it and uh, that is too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some screwdrivers. Now you may be like, what are you doing here? Stick the screwdriver in because it goes a bit thicker at the top and I can literally expand the hole. And I'm expanding the hole for them because I couldn't get any of the right sizes and to get the right sizes I would have to wait another week. And yeah, I could wait a week, but I don't have the time to wait a week because the plan is to get this office, you know, built up and done over the next week or so. So I need this wall up ASAP. <laughs> so let's do it.
I bought a pot of this. Now what this is, is just some simple all-purpose filler. Now I'm going to show you what I've done with it. It's not 100% done, but I'm going to show you how it's going so far. Down here, I am filling up this gap with some all-purpose filler because that's where I cut the piece out from here. Now it's not completely done, and once it's done, I'm then going to sand it down because I'm sanding the whole thing down before I paint it. So you all may be wondering, Oliver, what colour are you going to be painting your Calyx unit? Well, I'm actually going to be painting it matte black. Now, this black's fine but it's all scratched up and there's a lot of things which need to be filled in and I'm filling it all in with the all-purpose filler and I thought, well, you know, I want to be painting it back over and I like the black, it goes with my desk. So the plan is to paint it matte black. It's not the same shade as this, but it should be still pretty good. Now I'm going to show you where this is going to go. Now the unit is going to go here. Acts like a wall, you've got a little walk path down here into the absolutely hideous and very, very messy hallway at the moment because we have a very big extension in our hallway for some reason, so perfect office, you've got the front door, you've got the hallway here. Now once this is completely done, it's going to look amazing and I'm not anywhere near done with the office yet. I'm going to be carpeting it and doing lots of different things to it to make it look amazing. So I cut this hole out specifically for my record player, so you can just do this, it's up, you've got a nice bit of record player, it's off at the moment, but you're able to just stick it on, play your tunes, and yeah, that's the plan for that. It is now the next day, and as you can see here, there is lots of dirty wipes. Because what I did was I sanded the whole thing, and then I used some pink stuff, and I wiped it all down so there's no like little bits of dust, which means this is now almost 100% ready for painting. And when I mean almost 100%, I'll show you. Down here, where I've put the filler in, it's still a little squishy and I think that's because it's not completely secured underneath so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be filling up another layer of this then I'm gonna be sanding it down and then I'll be painting it over I'm okay to paint the rest and just leave this bit until last so I think I might do that just doing a coat on the top I'm doing this all on a budget and this is the paintbrush I found which is really good quality on a budget but this is the tin of paint they're not exactly going to fit, so A, I'm going to be pouring a little bit out and then brushing it out, or B, I'm going to be cutting this brush down. So I'm going to try by taking the lid off the tin and then just pouring a little bit and then painting it over, and we'll see how that goes until it fails. <laughs> but yeah, let's give that a go before I have to start cutting things down. I, I'm leaving you for someone else, but it's not who you might think. not completely done but look at this paint coat oh, oh it's still drying a bit up there and it definitely needs another coat so all the paint I so saw all the marks going the same way but look at that that is so much nicer than what it was I've just finished on the touching up on the paint I filled up the little gap there so I've got a nice massive section in the middle perfect for my record player now I'm waiting for the touch-up paint to dry, so I'm going to leave that for an hour to an hour and a half. It's meant to be 30 minutes, but I want to be just a little bit more safe. Well, there's also something else. I've been able to get my hands on a massive roll of carpet. Now this carpet is 3 foot 10 by 16 feet. And if I cut that in half, hopefully that should almost perfectly 
fit my office space because I want to put a bit of carpet over it. So before we even put this down, I need to completely clean out the office section. I'm going to clean up the floor, give it a bit of a hoover, and then once I can move the unit, I'll hoover up the rest of the hallway. And then I will start moving up my moving my desk and getting everything cut into perspective. It is quite messy, the floor. There's bits of sandpaper everywhere, you know, sanding, so there's all bits everywhere. But we just bought a new hoover, so I'll be using that to hoover up, which is going to be great. And then I've just got, well, still, all of these bits to just chuck away. No, I never meant to hurt you, but I'm in love with myself. I've laid carpet once in the past and back then I used a dinner knife. This time I've got a little bit more of a sharper knife and I have cut this whole thing in half down here, as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing is, I thought this was H, I thought each sheet would be 8 foot, but it looks like it's a bit longer, it looks like it's about a 9 foot each. So I'm going to be laying them down and they're going to be, there's going to be a long gap in the middle where they're going to be attaching up, so I'm going to squish them together as much as possible so you can't really tell. So what I need to do is I now need to move my desk to prepare the floor to lay the first bit of carpet down and I'm going to use this knife and I'm going to attempt to cut it into shape of this and then any little bits, going to trim them with some pair of scissors and yeah, just, just get it done. What I'm doing here is I'm tucking this carpet under the current skirting board so then it will be flush and it shouldn't move. Right, sheet one is done as you can see down here. I've done a pretty good job, I've tucked it all in around the edges, it's a little bit of a mess in that corner over there. But don't worry because they're just little bits which is going to be hoovered up after. Now it's time to get the second sheet in to go in this blank space down here which is then going to go around the calyx unit and round here to make a little bit of an entrance. It seems I had this camera on the complete wrong mode, so I apologise if clips are missing, things are a bit sped up, it seems I had the camera on time lapse the whole time for a lot of this the past few days, so I apologise. But let me just clear up what I've done. So, the carpet's done, we are just, we've got some things for the wall, as you can see here, we've got some, oh, we've got some angle brackets which fold down, which is going to, so the, so the table's going to go on the wall. Today I went dumpster diving and I picked up some wood. I picked up two pieces of wood which were two and a half meters each. I've cut them down to a meter and a half and I've sanded them down with 80 grit sandpaper. Actually they're 151 centimeters to be precise because I gave myself an extra centimeter in case I cut wrong and I didn't so I need to sand those down. Now these are going to go on the wall. We're going to be drilling these into the wall, drilling, drilling these into the wood then drilling the table onto these. That's the plan, so the table goes on the wall, which means the table can fold out the way, which gives us room to do other things in here, furniture work, spare bedroom, etc, etc. This space will kind of become multi... multiversal... multiversal? No, this space will become multi-universal. No, this space will become a more of a universal space for an office. It, will, it should work perfect. Now that I've sanded down these bits of wood, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be measuring up and I'm going to try and find the correct places to put them on the wall. Bar 
one is officially up. It's pretty sturdy on the wall. So what I did was I used eight mil screws and I used, where are they, where are they? I used some of these. So what I did was I drilled through the wood, drilled straight through the wall, stuck one of these in the wall, put one of these into the wood. But before I put one of these into the wood, I have some little washers here. So what I did was I slid over the screw, which then went into the wall, so that should be even more stronger. And then I drilled a couple of extra holes because, you know, just trying to find studs and things. So there is a couple of extra holes just here and here in the wood. So what I've done is I've just used some wood filler. It's all purpose filler. So I've just stuck that in because hopefully that should strengthen that up. I just went out and picked up a couple of things. I picked up a new drill bit because I'm gonna use a different drill bit because I've got some longer screws because when they go through the wood, I want them to go through everything, including the back, you know, the wood on the, on the other side of the uh, plasterboard. So I want that to work. I've also picked up some grip fill, which, per, which specifically says it works on plasterboard and wood which means I'm going to use this and I'm going to take the wood bar off and I'm going to stick a layer of glue down, well, grip fill, just to make everything just that little bit more stronger. That's the plan. Get that on just so it's more secure. I know we've already got the washers, I know we've already got the bolts, I know we've already got the uh, little grey bits, but I want to go a bit further and just secure it even more because the table's light, it's a limon, limon table from Ikea, they're very very light, but it's not the point, it's because if that breaks I've got to fix the whole wall. I'd rather do it right the first time than wrong. There was an issue with these screws that I was going to use. You see this gap here? Unfortunately, that is too big. That's bigger than the piece of wood that is on the wall. And I wanted this to screw into the wood, so it didn't work. But I've been able to use some of... I've got a load of selection of screws. been able to use some of these. It's kind of a bit of a mishmash. I'll show you the bracket here. So, as you can see, we've got a bolt in here, and then we've got one in here, because I moved this piece of wood down to here rather than here, which meant we missed a hole, so I've just um, kind of like put a uh, thingy in the wall so that holds into the wall, and then we've got a couple up here, I still need to screw that one in, but honestly, that is looking perfect. One bracket done, and two brackets done. Together, I believe they can hold 300 kilos, these ones. So they're pretty strong ones. Now it's time to put the tabletop on it and screw it all together and, yeah. Okay, the time is up. The office has been recreated. Yes, it doesn't have LEDs and everything, but it's pretty much done. And I'm gonna show you guys. You ready? You ready? You ready? Come on, come on, let's go see this. down perfectly and and it's up like a flash how great is that whole 300 kilos have I sat on it no do I want to I do but I don't I don't want to risk it <laughs> but yeah that's the desk that's the office thank you so much for watching today's video it's been a pretty good creation you know putting carpet down rebuilding a calyx it's actually a lot stronger than it was and I love the matte black the desk against the wall is absolutely brilliant this space is long enough to Sleep an average size human. Well, it, it's over two meters long, so unless you're like eight foot, you're gonna be able to sleep here fine. So this is a great spare bedroom, a great working space, a great office. This is such 
an amazing universal space and I'm very, very glad I've built it. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please make sure to smash the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you enjoyed it enough to click the share button, then please smash the share button and share it onto your Facebook or your DIY buddies because personally, I'm very, very happy with this. And yes, I will be updating the office as the time goes, but at the moment, it is absolutely perfect and I couldn't be happier. So adios my mis amigos, thank you so much for coming in and joining on the video. If you got this far, comment flamingos down below because it's a nice little word and uh, I wanna make sure you guys made it to the end of the video. So adios and I shall see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye. Like this video. Nobody cry. Nobody even knows the thought I'm standing right there. Kinda thought they might care I had a dream